Welcome to the first of my Restless Earth revision videos. This video focuses on tectonics theory. The first thing you need to understand uh, with tectonics is the structure of the Earth. Uh, the Earth is structured into layers. Uh, let's start at the most central layer, that is called the core. Okay, we have the inner core and the outer core. The inner core is a solid layer. It's made up of uh, mainly nickel and iron and it's radioactive, making it extremely hot. Okay, the outer core is uh, not solid, it's more liquid, but it's not liquid like water. It's a liquid metal, uh, so it's more gooey, sticky, uh, and it, it does flow, but very, very slowly. Uh, again, it, it is very hot and it is warmed by the inner core. Um, outside of that we have the mantle. It's a very thick layer of molten rock. Uh, a liquid, again, but again, not like water, more syrupy um, and thick. And it does flow in convection currents, which we'll get to in a moment. On top of that, we have the lithosphere. The lithosphere includes the Earth's crust and the top layer of the mantle, which we call the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is the lubricating layer that allows the tectonic plates that make up the Earth's crust to move. Now the Earth's crust is made up of the solid rock um, and it, it's fairly thin relatively and uh, brittle. There are two types of material that make up the Earth's crust uh, and two types of plates. We call them continental crust and oceanic crust. Now the continental crust uh, tends to be between 30 and 50 kilometres thick um, and makes up the majority of our land. Underneath the oceans and underneath the sea we have what's known as oceanic crust, a lot, lot thinner. Uh, six to eight kilometres thick, uh, but it is denser, and that will become important later on in our revision. Now, the plates do move around, they crash into each other, they move apart from each other, um, and they move in, in four different ways, which I will talk about next. Uh, they don't move a huge amount every year, usually between two and six centimetres at the very most. Now, as I said, tectonic plates move, and they move in, in four different ways. We have destructive plate margins. Destructive plate margins occur where we have a continental plate meeting an oceanic plate. They're moving towards each other. Now, because the oceanic plate is denser, it's heavier, it subducts, that means sinks, underneath the continental plate. As it sinks, earthquakes are created because these two plates rub together, creating friction. It sinks into the top layer of the mantle and melts. And here, where it's melting, we have a build-up of heat and pressure. That heat and pressure will start pushing magma up to the Earth's surface. Bulges will form as mountains, and eventually, pop, we will have a volcano. So, destructive plate margins are formed where we have a continental plate and an oceanic plate, we have earthquakes and volcanoes at this particular plate margin. Right, our second plate margin is our constructive plate margin. This is where, again, we have two plates. However, this time, rather than moving towards each other, they're actually moving apart from each other. They're moving away from each other. When the two plates move away from each other, magma slowly rises up to fill that gap that is left. Generally, these plate margins are formed by two oceanic plates moving away. As the magma rises up, it hits cold water, cold oceanic water, and it cools to create new land. Constructive plate margin, most famous of which is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Plates move away from each other, magma rises up, new land is formed. Right, third plate margin. Third plate margin is our collision plate margin. Okay, two plates, generally co two continental plates, move towards each other again. Because 
they are the same type of plate. Unlike the destructive where one plate sinks underneath, these two plates meet head on, they collide and they push up to form fold mountains. Here we're going to have big earthquakes, big earthquakes at this plate margin. So two continental plates move together, they are forced up as they collide to make fold mountains, most famous of which are the Himalayas. There in India, Nepal. Okay, right, one last plate margin to learn. Fourth type is a conservative plate margin. This is where two plates are moving past each other. They might be moving in opposite directions or in the same direction but at different speeds. Okay, here we have earthquakes happening. It's because we have friction between the two plates, they're, they're catching on each other and the rock is rubbing and, a, and they spring apart. The energy created and released will cause earthquakes. But why do these plates move? Well, it's, let's, let's go back to thinking about what's going on inside the earth. We have our layers, our crust, that's where our plates are. They form the crust of the earth. They are on top of our asthenosphere, which is our lubricating layer. Underneath that, we have the mantle. The mantle, remember, is a liquid. And when a liquid is heated, as this is by the radioactive core, very, very hot, liquid moves around. This movement we call convection. Convection currents are formed in the mantle. The liquid starts moving around. And as the liquid moves around, so then it starts moving the plates which are almost floating on top of them. It's very, very difficult to imagine, but there are lots and lots of diagrams out there on the internet for you to have a look at, uh, particularly interactive ones, which will give you a visual picture of what the processes are that are happening. It is worth after this video, having a little look on the internet, seeing if you can find some of those to give you that visual picture. If you want to learn more about volcanoes and earthquakes, check out my volcanoes and earthquakes videos that are also going on YouTube today. Good luck everyone!